So welcome back to the new video. In this video, we'll be looking at the intrusion policy. So intrusion policy by default has had some signatures, some 33,000 or 34,000 signatures by default will be installed in that, uh, recognized in that intrusion policy. So I will be deploying that one. So to do in our lab, so I will be adding one uh, Kali Linux in over here. So I will show you how to add the Kali Linux and I will give you the command how to generate the virus in order to detect that one. So I will go back to my topology now and you can see that I don't have the Kali Linux so I will click on new template click on next and go to the guest and look for the Kali Linux click on Kali Linux CLI so I need a docker image I don't need a uh, official image so I will click on install next finish and ok so this is your Kali Linux I will just drag it over here so it will take time to download this one so it's uh, almost like 1 gb file so it will take a time so we'll see you when it's been downloaded right you can see that now the downloading has been started it's pulling the image from the docker so it will take some time so once this has been done i will come back again right so my colorless has been downloaded so what i will do I'll go ahead and i will add one switch here change this one that is choose your slash zero and now I will start my Kali Linux I will take the console of it so also that IP address at 150.1.192 192 dot maybe 100 APTH 0 so let me confirm it's APTH 0 right that's it so now i am generating a very old attack so it's a very old attack so you have to turn off your firewall in in order to detect that one so what i have to do is like first service post gray sql i need to start the service first i would say that msf console It's starting the metasploit framework so first i will demonstrate that the attack has been happening and after that we will into, uh, implement the intrusion policy so now i will say that use windows mise c hta underscore server so these are the command say that set srv host server host IP address is 192.168.22.100 which we have given set URI path is a slash update so I am just generating a link with slash update next I will say that exploit so now it will provide me the link now you see that it is saying that URL link is HTTP 192.168.122.100 on port number 8080 slash update. So I will go to my Windows machine now and I will open my Internet Explorer. So now keep in mind that uh, firewall is off because it's a very old attack. So firewall automatically will block that one. To demonstrate this lab, I have turned on that turned off the firewall. So now I will go to my HTTP one. 92 168 122 100 on port number 8080 slash update now if i go to my kali linux you see that delivering payload that means attack has happened you see that it is asking me to download one small application now so now i want to stop this one if i go to my ftd now fmc if i go to my analysis if I go to my intrusion events, so by default it will not detect the intrusion. So you have to implement the intrusion policy for it. Right, so you can see that there is no intrusion policy, but intrusion is already been happened. So you don't know 
if I go to the connection events now uh, let me have a look where is that connection event you see that this is a connection event and the connection is being allowed on TCP port number 88. So now, in order to stop this attack, so what I have to do is like I have to in implement the intrusion policy. So I will go to the policies and I will go to the intrusion policy. Policies, intrusion policies. And I will create a new policy. I will say that INTR and I will say that uh, maximum detection. So I have a different option balance security and connectivity. Never use this one. Connectivity over security. So in you are saying that connection is preference to the connection is higher than the security. No rules active or security over connectivity. So my best option is to go with the maximum detection you want to detect those attacks okay so now i will say create policy so i don't want to edit the policy i'm not going to do anything but in this video so we will be doing the manual intrusion defining the manual intrusion policies in the next video so in this video i will be utilizing the default signatures which are available in my intrusion policy right so it took a while to create a policy so be patient while creating this policy so now i will go to my policies access control policy and now i will apply to the rule so we have applied the file and malware policy in the same way i'm going to apply the intrusion policy so i will apply to the rule rule level so i will apply to the rule one which is going from inside to outside. Click on edit. And I will go to my inspection. So let me zoom out. So I'll go to my inspection now. And here there is an intrusion policy. So I will go ahead and I will select my intrusion policy. So by default, you can also select here if you don't want to create a manual rules. You can directly select from here maximum detection so uh, since i have created a new policy i will select the policy which i have created so i'll click on save so once that is been saved click on save and deploy the policy so once the deployment is been done so this time it should detect it as a intrusion and it should block that so in the previously we were able it we were able to download the application so this time after the deployment it should automatically automatically block that connection so we'll go ahead and deploy cross check we're in deploying the intrusion policy deploy and deploy so i will be back when this deployment is been finished to do the verification so my deployment is being finished so before i go ahead and make a connection so i will go to my windows pc and i will clear that uh, i'll go to my settings so i will clear the history so that it makes a new connection so okay privacy and security choose what to clear I will just clear everything. I will also turn on this one. And now that I have cleared the browsing history, so this time I will go ahead and I will access the same link. Right, so it has been cleared so i will open a new tab and now i will go to http okay Oh. 
start that file and I will go to my HTTP 192.168.122.100 on port number 8080 slash update and I will just click on enter you see that delivering payload attack is happening but I'm not able to get any application so if you remember previously we were able to get that downloading option over here to download the application and run that script but now I am not able to getting I am not getting that one that means my FTD has successfully blocked that one so I will go to my analysis now I will go to the intrusion events and this time in the intrusion events it should show me that this attack was happening and it was blocked now you see that what kind of attack it was what is the priority See protocol DNS, firewall client, long host, entry, exploit, attempt. It was trying to exploit, so this was the demonstration of the intrusion policy. Hope you enjoyed this video and see you in the next video. Thank you.